Right, a couple of weeks ago I took on the machine. Now I'm going to take on the penalty machine in this man. Right, we're here with the penalty king. What, one in 48 you missed, Tiz. What's the tip? It was saved, by the way, it was saved, not missed. It, it was missed. Didn't care. <laughs> it was missed. <laughs> and what, what would be your tip to people taking penalties? Uh, as a right-footed penalty taker, my first tip would always be to, to side foot the ball powerfully into a corner. Uh, and my favourite corner was to the goalkeeper's left. And the reason I did that was twofold because the angle that you're going at means that the ball's curling a little bit away from the goalkeeper. If you go to his other side, the ball's got to curl in a little bit and the angle's a bit shallower. So it's a, a, a bit easier for him to save it. Uh, and the second reason was, if you do aim for that corner first, it's easy at the last minute. If you see the goalkeeper move into that corner, it's quite easy at the last minute just to whip your foot round it and, and pop it in the other corner. Every manager always says, don't change your mind, don't change your mind. No, no, I did. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Um, and I think that was uh, one of the reasons why my record was so good, is that I was open-minded enough that um, I kept my mind free that, OK, that's my corner that I'm going for, but if I see him go there, then I was confident enough at the last minute to, to change my mind. I was lucky enough I took a penalty in the World Cup in 98. I was watching you. Thank you. I, I, I always think the one thing that people can't practice is the walk. From the halfway yeah. line to there. When I walked up, I was everything went through my head. I mean, I everything imagine. I got to let my kids down, my wife. <laughs> At the time now, I'm thinking. Oh, See, I all negative really thoughts. Care. All <laughs> negative thoughts. Yeah, no, they that, were. That's what, that's they what it were. is. That's they what, were. You, you know, they were. That was the head. thing. And then you're walking up, and the Giggs is walking back, and he says something in Argentinian, and you're thinking, he's just told me I'm going to miss. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was only involved in one penalty shootout, and that was at Old Trafford for Southampton. And um, I was actually asked by the manager, Ian Bradford, if I would take the first penalty. And I actually said, no, I don't want to take the first one. Put me at the back because I want to score the winning one. Right, that was my that was my mindset. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be the hero, yeah. and uh, we scored all four of ours. They missed two of theirs, and I never got to take one. So, uh, so, so I never I've never done the walk from the halfway line uh, down to the penalty spot in that situation. Right, then, so I'm going to take you on now. Okay, but the problem is we need a goalie. Oh yeah, have we got a goalie? Right, Rob, you're any good at? Saving penalties? I'd like to think I'm all right. I've improved over my career. Started off slowly, took me about 250 games to save my first one and then it got retaken. So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, warmed up after a slow start. So what would, you, what would your tips be to people out there? I think as a, on a professional level, you've got the research of previous videos of them taking and you've got numerous, uh, like maybe 10, 12 penalties of the same player and you can ch check the little changes in the run up subtle things. People with, without that ability, you may be looking for sort of different movements, different arm movements, uh, run-ups and stuff like that. And so there's season. definite clues in the run-ups into how people run up as yeah, to where they're going to put it? I think normally you look, maybe for me, you're looking in the first couple of strides that you'd say, or they, they, they try and make the run-up at the end as normal as possible or as similar looking as possible. But at the start, to change the run-up right at the start, maybe just the first step or something like that, you'd look at that. Okay. So I mean, you've, I've, Played against players where you're just solely looking at their feet in the first step and you know which way they're going to go. Right, game on, yeah? I'm first. On the spot, yeah? Oh, oh, oh not a good start! <laughs> <laughs> Save, Rob. Here you go, turn over back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not even bother placing it. Confident. One nil. One nil. Game on. I think it's game over with your record. <laughs> Change your mind this time. <laughs> Get in his head. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I got up this early in the morning. This will start taking them left footed now. Come on, Rob. Ah, oh, Penoy. Penoy. Confident. You're better off standing there, Rob. I've got oh, more chance there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I'll put it a bit closer if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Penoy. no! Nice. 
<laughs> He's trying anything now. Oh, yeah, I'm scratching now. Anything. How not to take a penalty. Right, this is it to win, mate. Come on, Rob, don't let me down. <laughs> Come on. No, no, you didn't die. I'm not dying. I'm all going to my score, right? <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? See, pressure's off. I told you, I wouldn't. <laughs> pressure's off, all of a sudden you can take a oh, penalty. Right, that's the end of that. Everybody sits at home and watches Man United in the semi final, thinks, ah, oh, that's easy, that's a dodo, I can do that. I can't. Someone right. can. Yeah. Fair play, mate. Fair play, Tiz. Cheers, so, mate. What, what was the difference? If you confidently strike it in the corners, then yeah. 99 times out of 100, the keeper ain't going to save it. So I think someone knew that before they started and, and carried on I the same it. as they did in their career. Thanks a lot, Rob. Cheers, Paul. Congratulations. Of the season, mate. Cheers, Rob. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Thanks All for right. letting them in. <laughs> <laughs>